Regulation and licensure in engineering is established by various jurisdictions of the world to encourage public welfare, safety, well-being and other interests of the general public and to define the licensure process through which an engineer becomes authorized to practice engineering and or provide engineering professional services to the public. As with many other professions, the professional status and the actual practice of professional engineering is legally defined and protected by law in some jurisdictions. Additionally, some jurisdictions permit only licensed engineers, sometimes called registered engineers, to practice engineering, which requires careful definition in order to resolve potential overlap or ambiguity with respect to certain other professions which may or may not be themselves regulated, e.g., scientists or architects. Relatedly, jurisdictions that license according to particular engineering discipline need to define those boundaries carefully as well so that practitioners understand what they are permitted to do. In many cases, only a state or provincial licensed, registered engineer has the authority to take legal responsibility for engineering work or projects, typically via a seal or stamp on the relevant design documentation. Regulations may require that only a licensed or registered engineer can sign, seal or stamp technical documentation such as reports, plans, engineering drawings and calculations for study estimate or valuation or carry out design analysis, repair, servicing, maintenance or supervision of engineering work, process or project. In cases where public safety, property or welfare is concerned, it may be required that an engineer be licensed or registered, though some jurisdictions have an industrial exemption that permits engineers to work internally for an organization without licensure so long as they are not making final decisions to release product to the public or offering engineering services directly to the public, e.g. consultant. Expert witness or opinion in courts or before government committees or commissions can be provided by experts in the respective field, which is sometimes given by a registered or licensed engineer in some jurisdictions. Topic. Registration and regulation Becoming an engineer is a process that varies widely around the world. In some regions, use of the term engineer is regulated, in others it is not. Where engineering is a regulated profession, there are specific procedures and requirements for obtaining a registration, charter or license to practice engineering. These are obtained from the government or a charter granting authority acting on its behalf and engineers are subject to regulation by these bodies. In addition to licensure, there are voluntary certification programs for various disciplines which involve examinations accredited by the Council of Engineering and Scientific Specialty Boards. Due to occupational closure, licensed engineers enjoy significant influence over their regulation. They are often the authors of the pertinent codes of ethics used by some of these organizations. Engineers in private practice most often find themselves in traditional professional client relationships in their practice. Engineers employed in government service and government run industry are on the other side of that relationship. Despite the different focus, engineers in industry and private practice face similar ethical issues and reach similar conclusions. One American engineering society, the National Society of Professional Engineers, has sought to extend a single professional license and code of ethics for all engineers, regardless of practice area or employment sector. Topic. United States In the United States, registration or licensure of professional engineers and engineering practice is governed by the individual states. Each registration or license is valid only in the state where it is granted. Some licensed engineers maintain licenses in more than one state. Comity, also known as reciprocity, between states allows engineers who are licensed or registered in one state to obtain a license in another state without meeting the ordinary rigorous proof of qualification by testing. This is accomplished by the second state recognizing the validity of the first state's licensing or registration process. Topic. History 
Licensure in the United States began in the state of Wyoming when lawyers, notaries and others without engineering training were making poor quality submissions to the state for permission to use state water for irrigation. Clarence Johnson, the Wyoming state engineer, presented a bill in 1907 to the state legislature that required registration for anyone presenting themselves as an engineer or land surveyor and created a board of examiners. Charles Bellamy, a 52-year-old engineer and mineral surveyor then became the first licensed professional engineer in the United States. After enactment, Johnson would wryly write about the effect of the law, saying, A most astonishing change took place within a few months in the character of maps and plans filed with the applications for permits. Louisiana, followed by Florida and Illinois, would become the next states to require licensure. Montana became the last state to legislate the licensing in 1947. Topic. Requirements Requirements for licensing vary, but generally are as follows Graduate from an Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology accredited four-year college or university program with a degree in engineering e.g., Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Master of Science in Engineering, Master of Engineering or in some states, graduate from an ABET accredited four-year college or university program with a degree in Engineering Technology. Complete a Standard Fundamentals of Engineering written examination, which tests applicants on breadth of understanding of basic engineering principles and, optionally, some elements of an engineering speciality. Completion of the first two steps typically qualifies applicants for certification in the United States as an Engineer in Training sometimes also called an Engineer Intern Accumulate a certain amount of engineering experience, in most states the requirement is four years, but it is lower in some. For engineering technology graduates, the required number of years may be higher. Complete a written principles and practice in engineering P examination, which tests the applicant's knowledge and skills in the chosen engineering discipline civil, electrical, industrial, mechanical, etc., as well as engineering ethics. For standardization, FE and P exams are written and graded by a central organization, the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying NCES. However, each state's board of professional engineers individually sets the requirements to take the exams, as well as the passing score. For example, applicants in some states must provide professional references from several pays before they can take the P exam. There is a fairly large range in exam pass rates for FE and P exams, but the pass rate for repeat test takers is significantly lower. All 50 states and the District of Columbia have engineering boards that are represented on the NCES, which administers both the FE and P examinations. Degree requirements in the United States are evolving. Effective January 1, 2020, the NCES model will require additional credits beyond a Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree. NCES is developing the types of creditable activities that will satisfy the additional educational requirement. This has received some support from civil engineers. As of 2013, it is still possible for an individual to bypass steps number two and four. In Texas, for example, both FE and P exam waivers are still available to individuals with several years of creditable experience. In a few states, it is still possible for an individual to bypass step number one and apply to take the registration examinations as long as a P sponsors the applicant because work experience can be substituted for academic experience. The requirement for years of experience may also vary. For example, in California it is possible to take a P examination with only two years of experience after a Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree or one year of experience after a Master of Engineering. In other states candidates may take one of the P exams directly through NCES, in some cases immediately after graduation, but they still must wait until obtaining the required experience before obtaining a license. Some states also have state-specific examinations. California requires two additional exams in land surveying and earthquake engineering for civil engineering candidates and many states have exams based on their individual laws and ethics requirements. Some states issue generic professional engineering licenses. Others, known as discipline states, 
issue licenses for specific disciplines of engineering, such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, nuclear engineering, electrical engineering and chemical engineering. However, in all cases engineers are ethically required to limit the practice to their area of competency, which is usually a small portion of a discipline. While licensing boards do not often enforce this limitation, it can be a factor in negligence lawsuits. In a few states, licensed civil engineers may also perform land survey work. In addition to the person's license, most states require that firms providing engineering services are authorized to do so. For instance, the state of Florida issues a certificate of authorization to firms that are owned by a professional engineer. Civil engineers account for a large portion of licensed professional engineers. In Texas, for example, about 37% of licenses are for civil engineers, with civil engineering exams making up more than half of the exams taken. Many of the remainder are mechanical, electrical and structural engineers. However, some engineers in other fields obtain licenses for the ability to serve as professional witnesses in courts, before government committees or just for prestige even though they may never actually sign and seal design documents. Since regulation of the practice of engineering is performed by the individual states in the United States, areas of engineering involved in interstate commerce are essentially unregulated. These areas include much of mechanical, aerospace and chemical engineering and may be specifically exempted from regulation under an industrial exemption. An industrial exemption covers engineers who design products such as automobiles that are sold or have the potential to be sold outside the state where they are produced, as well as the equipment used to produce the product. Structures subject to building codes are not covered by an industrial exemption, though small residential buildings often do not require an engineer's seal. In some jurisdictions, the role of architects and structural engineers overlap. In general, the primary professional responsible for designing habitable buildings is an architect. The architect signs and seals design plans for buildings and other structures that humans may occupy. A structural engineer is contracted to provide technical structural design ensuring the stability and safety of the overall structure. However, no states currently allow engineers the ability to perform professional architecture without also being licensed as an architect. Many private companies employ non degree workers in technical positions with engineering titles such as test engineer or field engineer at the company's discretion, as long as the company does not offer engineering services directly to the public or other businesses, such positions may not require an engineering license. However, it is important to make a distinction between a graduate engineer and a professional engineer. A graduate engineer is anyone holding a degree in engineering from an accredited four-year university program, but is not licensed to practice or offer services to the public. Unlicensed engineers usually work as employees for a company or as professors in engineering colleges, where they are governed under the Industrial Exemption Clause. Canada The practice of engineering in Canada is highly regulated under a system of licensing administered by a self-regulated engineering association in each province. In Canada the designation, professional engineer, can only be used by licensed engineers and the practice of engineering is protected in law and strictly enforced in all provinces. The regulation and licensing of engineers is done through each province's own engineering association which was created by acts passed by that province's legislature. There is also Engineers Canada which regulates undergraduate programs for engineering. The process for registration is generally as follows. Graduate with a degree from an accredited program in engineering or applied science, accredited by the Canadian Engineering Accreditation Board CEAB. Complete an engineer in training EIT, or engineering internship program under the direction of a professional engineer. With the exception of Quebec, this is a minimum four-year program. Review of work experience by the association. Pass a professional practice exam, the content and format of which differs by province. Professional engineers are not licensed in a specific discipline but are bound by their respective provincial code of ethics, e.g., in Ontario, Professional Engineers Act RRO. 
1990, Regulation 941 from practicing beyond their training and experience. Breaches of the code are often sufficient grounds for enforcement measures, which may include the suspension or loss of license and financial penalties. It could also result in serving time jail, should negligence be shown to have played a part in any incident that causes loss of human life. Engineers are not tested on technical knowledge during the licensing process if their education was accredited by the CEAB. Accreditation of schools and their accredited degree granting status are monitored and controlled. This accreditation process is governed by Engineers Canada through their active group CEAB. The accreditation process is continuous and enforced through regular accreditation reviews of each school. These reviews typically include the review of the school's curriculum including marked final exams and assignments, interviews of current students, extracurricular activities and teaching staff as well additional areas the visiting board may feel need addressing. The specific areas considered are curriculum content, program environment and general criteria. The associations are granted both an exclusive right to title and an exclusive right to practice. There are only a few exceptions specifically noted in the Acts, which do not include any industrial exemptions. Therefore, a professional engineer is legally required to be registered. The level of enforcement varies depending on the specific industry. And, in some provinces, there is no requirement of having graduated from an accredited Canadian university in order to be a professional engineer. The professional engineer's license is only valid in the province of delivery. There are, however, agreements between the associations to ease mobility. In 2009, Professional Engineers Ontario led an initiative to develop a national engineering licensing framework. The term, engineer, is often used loosely in some Canadian industry sectors to describe people working in the field of engineering technology, not professional engineering, as engineering technologists or engineering technicians and trades names such as stationary engineer. For example, the Canadian Coast Guard and the Canadian Navy often calls its technicians marine engineers, power engineers, and military engineers internally, but not in the public domain. The term locomotive engineer has been an integral part of the Canadian Railroad since its inception. Stationary engineering is a trade whose technicians operate heavy machinery and equipment that provide heat, light, climate control and power. Topic. United Kingdom In general there is no restriction on the right to practice as an engineer in the UK. However there are a small number of areas of work, generally safety related, which are reserved by statute, regulations or industry standards to licensed or otherwise approved persons. The title, engineer, is not regulated, but certain engineering titles are. There is no system for licensing, but registers are held of qualified persons. The Engineering Council is the UK regulatory body for its engineering profession. It holds the national registers of 235,000 engineers registered as NGTech Engineering Technicians, ICT Tech Information and Communications Technology Technicians, IENG Incorporated Engineers, and SENG Chartered Engineers. These titles are fully protected under law by means of the Engineering Council's Royal Charter and by laws. In order to protect these titles, action is taken through the courts against their unauthorized use. To receive designation as a SENG, it is required to have approved education, typically to master's level, and also demonstrate significant technical and commercial leadership and management competencies. A chartered engineer is entitled to register through the European Federation of National Engineering Associations FEANI, as a European engineer and use the pre-nominal designation, EUR ING. Topic. India. In India, engineers with a bachelor's or master's degree in engineering or technology from a university are allowed to practice as consulting engineers. They must be licensed or registered with municipalities in order to submit public plans, designs or drawings for approval and record. 
the Institution of Engineers, India, was granted British Royal Charter in 1935 and admits engineers holding the above degrees as a corporate member AMI, or Chartered Engineer India, SENG, India. IE, India, also offers registration as a professional engineer, P, India, and international professional engineer, P, international, to member engineers having seven years of active practical engineering experience after achieving their degrees. IE, India, is a member of IPEA, International Professional Engineers Agreement, with bilateral agreements with many national, foreign and international engineering institutions. Many municipalities exempt chartered engineers P India or P International from their licensure or registration by reciprocity committee. All such consulting engineers must be licensed, registered or chartered regardless of the discipline or area of practice. Topic: Iran In Iran, registration or licensure of professional engineers and engineering practice is governed by Ministry of Science, Research and Technology Iran. For standardization, FE and P exams are written and graded by a central organization, the National Organization for Examination and Training which is known as Sanjesh in Persian. Requirements for licensing are as follows. Graduate from accredited four-year college or university program with a degree in engineering e.g., Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Complete a Standard Fundamentals of Engineering written examination, which tests applicants on breadth of understanding of basic engineering principles and, optionally, some elements of an engineering speciality. Accumulate a certain amount of engineering experience requirement is at least four years. Complete a written principles and practice in engineering P examination, which tests the applicant's knowledge and skills in their chosen engineering discipline civil, electrical, industrial, mechanical, computer, etc., as well as engineering ethics. Topic Pakistan In Pakistan, engineering education and profession is regulated by the Pakistan Engineering Council PEC, via PEC Act 1976. PEC is a federal government organization. Any person with an engineering degree B, BS, BSc engineering, from PEC accredited universities, institutes is legally allowed to register with the Pakistan Engineering Council PEC, with two categories. Registered Engineer RE, and Professional Engineer P. Previously, every engineering graduate registered with the PEC and at least five years of relevant work experience was eligible for the title of Professional Engineer P, without any exam. To improve the quality of engineering profession, a two-tier system has been introduced via PEC CPD by laws 2008. This system was realistically implemented starting 10 July 2010. Graduate engineers now enroll and practice as registered engineer RE, in the general discipline of work. After at least five years of relevant work experience and accumulation of at least 17 CPD, continued professional development points, they may attempt the Engineering Practice Examination EPA, conducted by the PEC. EPA is held by PEC biennially in major cities across the country. Those who pass the EPA are given the prestigious title of Professional Engineer P, in the specialized discipline of work. PEC unilaterally honors the Engineers Mobility Forum EMF, International Professional Engineers Agreement IPEA. An engineer already registered as a professional engineer with EMF, IPEA will be exempt from EPA and CPD points requirement and will be awarded Professional Engineer P, title on submission of application. This has been made possible through Clause 13 H of PEC CPD Bylaws 2008. To improve the quality of engineering services, engineers with professional engineer P, status are also required to engage in CPD activities in order to be able to retain their P license. CPD points are awarded for various developmental activities such as formal education, e.g. postgraduate diploma, master or PhD, on-job experience, participating in conferences, workshops as audience, speaker or organizer, publications in technical journals, part-time teaching activities, serving as guest lecturer other than full-time teaching, and serving as external examiner for master, PhD thesis. For CPD points system, upper limit of points has also been implemented to prevent abuse of the system and encourage balanced participation in various CPD activities. 
In case of on-job work experience which is the primary engagement of engineering profession, one CPD point is awarded for 400 hours of work. Upper limit of two credit points per year has been established for on-job work experience. Rewarding only 800 hours approximately four months full -time, of work per year has many benefits including inherent tolerance for bouts of unemployment, inbuilt allowance for sickness, disease, injury, discouraging workaholism, enabling full-time engineering teachers to gain relevant field experience with reduced time commitment e.g. part-time consulting engagement, and encouraging participation in other CPD activities which further the engineering profession e.g. guest lectures, publishing research, authoring a book and social work for engineers under recognized engineers associations. To avoid confusion, PEC CPD bylaws 2008 introduced the legal term, registered person. Registered person is a term distinct from registered engineer, re. It is a blanket term used for all persons enrolled with PEC in any capacity, whether as registered engineers, re, or professional engineers, p. Topic. Sri Lanka In Sri Lanka, the title, Engineer, is not regulated. However, as per the Engineering Council Act No. 4 of 2017, all engineering practitioners in Sri Lanka needs to be registered with the Engineering Council to practice. Failing due to so would result in an offence and can be convicted by a summary trial before a magistrate with imprisonment period not exceeding one year and or a fine not exceeding 100,000 rupees. Europe The European Engineer EURing, EURing, is an international professional qualification for engineers used in many European countries. The title is granted after successful application to a national member of the European Federation of National Engineering Associations FEANI, which includes representation from many European countries, including much of the European Union. It allows a person who has an engineering degree and usually an engineering professional qualification in one of the member countries to use the qualification in others, but this depends on local legislation. The title EURing is pre-nominal i.e., it is placed before rather than after the name as in the case of a post-nominal title such as those for academic degrees, however, in some EU countries, academic degrees are also pre-nominal. Names are also placed on the FEANI register maintained by FEANI in addition to national member registers. Another association in Europe is the Ureta. The professional title, ING, Ureta, is used as a pre-nominal, similar to doctor or professor. An engineer registered with Ureta European Higher Engineering and Technical Professionals Association is called an Ureta Registered Engineer and has the right to use this title in Europe. Topic: <laughs> Germany. In Germany, academic title DIPL ing. Diplom Ingenieur, Diploma Engineer, is awarded by the Educational Ministries of the Federal States Bundesländer, after having completed an academic engineering education according to the German Engineer's Law Ingenieurgesetz. however, it is not a license to practice engineering, rather an academic title. The degrees in, Grad. Graduate Ingenieur, Graduate Engineer, and Obering. Obering and Year, Supervisor Engineer, are no longer awarded. The designation, DIPL, ING is recognized by FEANI as a precursor for registration as EUR ING DIPL ING does not confer licensing by the government and therefore is not equivalent to the steps of licensing e.g. mandatory references minimum work experience and a second theoretical and practical exam conducted in other countries such as the UK Canada or the United States state certified engineer German, Startlich Geprüfter Techniker is a European Union qualification for a professional engineer of technology or professional engineering technologist not to be confused with an engineering technician or DIPL, ING. It is granted to engineering technologists upon successful completion of a technical college and it is also granted by an international organization with headquarters in Germany, the BVT, 
Federal Association of Higher Professions for Technology, Economy and Design Bundeverband Hohira Berufe der Technik, Wirtschaft und Gestaltung e. v. EU Directive 2005-L0036 EN 1 January 2007 Annex 3 List of Regulated Education and Training referred to in the third subparagraph of Article 13 2 A member of the BVT is entitled to use the initials BVT after his name. To achieve this qualification, it is required to complete a 42-month apprenticeship program, a minimum 2,400-hour college diploma in engineering or technology, two years of relevant experience and pass the state examination. The academic requirement to be a state certified engineer is a degree equivalent to level 6 on EQF equals bachelor on the European qualification framework. A bachelor's honors degree in engineering or engineering technology from an accredited university is also equated to level 6 on EQF. A state certified engineer is not required to complete a university degree. Before January 31, 2012, a state certified engineer certificate usually qualified the holder to proceed to bachelor's level education at a university of applied science. In the past, this led to wide and controversial discussions between bachelor's and master's degrees engineers and state certified engineers. Today, this is on the same level as a bachelor's degree. One can continue to study to a master's degree with the SCE qualification. The academic requirements for qualification are similar to incorporated engineer qualification, registration by ECUK. State certified engineers now assist engineers with only a diploma or master's degree. They are also holding full engineering positions as systems engineers, integration engineers, test engineers, QA engineers, etc. State certified engineer, business manager and designer levels are now a level 6 bachelor on DQF and EQF, as of January 31, 2012. The following top representatives and agents institutions were involved, Federal Government Federal Ministry for Education and Research, Federal Ministry of Economics and Technology, Standing Conference and Economic Ministerial Meeting of Countries, the Confederation of German Employers Associations, German Chambers of Industry and Commerce, German Trade Union Federation and the Federal Institute for Vocational Application. They agreed on a common position on the implementation of the EQF, as a German Qualifications Framework DQR. Topic. Designations Letters after or before a person's name post-nominal or pre-nominal letters are commonly used to denote the holder of an engineering license in various jurisdictions. Topic. Africa Ing, in Ghana, for engineers holding a BSc or higher with relevant engineering experience, and a registered member of the Ghana Institute of Engineers, GI. PR Eng, or PR Ing is used as a post-nominal in South Africa for engineers holding a bank BSc, Eng, or Bing, with relevant experience. PR, Cert, Eng. Standing for Professional Certificated Engineer is used as a post-nominal for engineers who have registered with Engineering Council of South Africa after passing the Engineer's Certificate of Competence Examinations. R. Eng standing for Registered Engineer in Kenya holders of five years of post-secondary engineering education and four years of work experience. Eng is used for engineers holding the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Engineering, or higher, with relevant engineering experience in Egypt and must be a member in the Egyptian Syndicate of Engineers. ENGR is used as a pre-nominal in Nigeria for holders of bachelor or higher degree in engineering with relevant experience and having successfully passed the Nigerian Society of Engineers NSE professional exams and fulfill other NSE and Council for Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria Koren, requirements. R. Eng or Seng is used as post-nominal for registered engineers in Nigeria after fulfilling both NSE and Koren requirements. Eng is used as a pre-nominal in Uganda for registered engineers. 
In Uganda, a registered engineer must as a prerequisite be a member of the Uganda Institution of Professional Engineers UIPE, and must have a Bachelor of Science or higher, in engineering together with relevant engineering experience that must be documented, supported by two registered engineers and defended by the applicant in an interview with the Engineers Registration Board ERB, which has the power to confirm designation as a registered engineer. Annual fees must be paid to the ERB by all registered engineers. Topic. Australia and New Zealand RPENG, is used as a post-nominal in Australia for registered professional engineers only and subject to a rigorous competence-based assessment and ongoing CPD requirements to maintain status. RPENG is administered by Professionals Australia. NER, administered by Engineers Australia, is used as a post-nominal in Australia for technologists, associates and professional engineers registered on the National Engineering Register and is subject to CPD requirements to maintain status. Registration is performed by Engineers Australia. RPEQ is used as a post-nominal in Queensland for registered professional engineers of Queensland and is subject to CPD requirements to maintain status. Registration and monitoring is performed by the Board of Professional Engineers of Queensland. The assessment entities for the Board can be found here. 1. MEORST is used as a post-nominal to designate a member of Engineers Australia. This indicates at least three years' experience beyond graduation, but does not imply chartered membership by itself. CPENG is used as a post-nominal in Australia and New Zealand for chartered professional engineers and subject to a rigorous competence-based assessment and ongoing CPD requirements to maintain status. FEORST is used to designate a fellow highest membership category of Engineers Australia. Graduate Engineer is an official designation under Australian legislation, Professional Employees Award 2010, that covers graduated engineering students of a suitable engineering course. Professional Engineer and Experienced Engineer are official designations under Australian legislation, Professional Employees Award 2010, for engineers that carry out professional engineering duties and, are a member of Engineers Australia, or are a graduate engineer with four years' experience with professional engineering duties, or are who have not graduated from a university course, but are an engineer with five years' experience carrying out professional engineering duties as would be the case for autodidactic and industry-trained engineers. Topic. Asia Mohandas Payer 1 and Mohandas Payer 2 are titles used respectively for professional engineer and engineer in training in Iran. IR is used as a pre-nominal in Hong Kong, Malaysia and Indonesia. IR is used as a pre-nominal in Singapore and PE, P, Eng. Professional engineer are used as post-nominal designations. PEJP is a pre-nominal in Japan. ENGR, or engineer is allowed before your name only if you have membership in IEB, in Bangladesh. RE and PE are used as post-nominal designations for engineers in Pakistan registered with the Pakistan Engineering Council PEC, after completing a four years Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Engineering degree. RE, registered engineer, and PE. Professional engineer, Mohandis is used as a pre-nominal in Arab countries like Iraq, Syria and Lebanon. Eng, or, as a pre-nominal in Jordan for engineers holding a university degree in engineering after five years of studies. ENGR, or engineer is used as a pre-nominal in the Philippines for individuals passing the government-regulated professional licensure examination, which is only given for certain fields of engineering. Seng Sri Lanka is used in Sri Lanka as a post-nominal abbreviation by corporate members of the Institution of Engineers, Sri Lanka IESL. IENG. The term incorporated engineers is offered by the Institution of Incorporated Engineers, Sri Lanka. Seng India is used as post-nominal abbreviation in India by those who are registered as a chartered engineer with Institution of Engineers, India. ER is used before their name by chartered engineers who hold the IE India designation, in India. Is used in Israel mostly by master's degree civil engineers. Topic. 
Europe EURing European engineer in Europe used as a pre-nominal similar to doctor or professor after being suitably registered in their own country and then accepted by FEANI in PEUR European professional engineer in Europe used as a pre-nominal in ingeniero in Spain used as a pre-nominal for the engineers who have the equivalent to a master's degree as they studied five or six courses in an engineering superior school there also exists an ingeniero tecnico IT, who is a professional that holds a degree and a minimum formation of three courses in an engineering official college. Both types of engineers have full competency in their respective professional field of engineering, being the difference that the three-year engineers have competence only in the specialty mechanical, electrical, chemical, etc. and the engineering superior school. Engineers have wider competences. The Bologna process changes this structure. The degree will require four courses and the superior engineering school engineers will equal the ones that hold a master's in engineering. Eng, ingeniero in Portugal, used as a pre-nominal. An ingeniero is a full charted professional in engineering who was awarded a master's degree second study cycle according to the Bologna process system by an accredited engineering school. In Portugal there is also the Ingeniero Tecnico who is a professional with a bachelor's degree first study cycle in engineering or engineering sciences. Accredited master's degrees in engineering are regulated and certified by the Ordem dos Ingenieros Order of Engineers and every professional full charted engineer is registered at the Ordem. In Finland, regulation affects only academic degrees. In academic education, the degree of diploma in Sinori DIPL, INS, or DI, officially translated, Master of Science, Technology, is awarded by universities and universities of technology and is preceded by an intermediate bachelor's degree, Technique and Candidati, or equivalent studies. In vocational education, the degrees in Sinori and Elempi in Sinori AMK, are awarded by Polytechnics. In Germany, the DIPL, ING. Diploma Ingenieur, Diploma Engineer, is awarded by the Educational Ministries of the Federal States Bundesländer, after having completing an academic engineering education according to the German Engineers Law Ingenieurgesetz. The degrees in Grad. Graduate Ingenieur, Graduate Engineer, and Obering. Oberingenieur, Supervisor Engineer, are no longer awarded. Pre-nominal letters ING. Ureta is used as a pre-nominal, similar to Doctor or Professor. An engineer registered with Ureta European Higher Engineering and Technical Professionals Association is called an Ureta Registered Engineer and has the right to use this title in Europe. State Certified Engineer BVT. These titles are the respective translations authorized by the German federal government of Staatlich Geprüfte Techniker in Europe. IR, in the Netherlands, for engineers holding a master's degree from a university, or ING. For engineers holding a bachelor's degree from a professional school. Pre-nominal letters IR, in Belgium, for civil engineers holding a master's degree in engineering, bioengineering sciences from a university, or ING. For industrial Engineers holding a master's degree in applied engineering, formerly from university colleges, from 2013 these formations are integrated in the universities. Pre-nominal letters ING, in Italy used as a pre-nominal for engineers holding a master's degree or ING, junior for engineers holding a bachelor's degree. A state exam is required. Pre-nominal letters registration is with the Consiglio Nazionale degli Ingegneri. SIV, ING. Civilingenieur, Master of Science, and Ing. Hoyskollengenieur, Bachelor of Science, in Norway. The title is used by persons holding degrees from accredited engineering colleges and universities. Seng, Chartered Engineer, and IENG, Incorporated Engineer, in the UK and Ireland. UK and Irish engineers may also carry post-nominal letters specific to the Specialist Engineering Institute, such as MIET, Professional Engineers and Graduate Professionals registered with the Institution of Engineering and Technology. In the UK these are recognised as regulated qualifications and titles. CIV, ING, in Sweden, for engineers holding a master's degree in engineering, master of engineering, master of science in engineering, and Hogskolleingenjör in Sweden, for engineers holding a bachelor of science degree. 
Kand, Pollitt, in Denmark for engineers holding a master's degree in engineering, master of engineering, master of science in engineering. Ing, in Romania, used as a pre-nominal similar to doctor or professor. Ing, for engineers holding a master's degree in Czech Republic and Slovak Republic, used as a pre-nominal similar to MGR. Equals MSc INS, and MGR INS, in Poland, INS, Inzinie engineer is the title obtained after three, five years of technical studies, Inzinie who obtained MSc degree, uses MGR INS. Magister Inzinie, literally, Master Engineer. The MGR degree can be obtained in two years postgraduate education or formally until full adaptation of the Bologna process by university through an integrated five-year Bachelor of Science, Master of Science program. Some, particularly in the U.S., mistakenly believe that MGR INS is some kind of separate degree, while in fact these are two degrees, regardless of how they were obtained. The degree in general includes license to practice, although some regulation may require additional registration to perform specific tasks. See pre-nominal letters. Mag and Mag. INZH, from Magister master engineer in Bulgaria for engineers holding a master's magister degree or INS. For engineers holding a bachelor's degree. Pre-nominal letters. ING, in Malta for engineers holding a university degree and at least three years of experience. PENG, UK, in UK for engineers who are members of Society of Professional Engineers UK. BVT in Germany for engineers holding three and a half years of certified apprenticeship, followed by a minimum of a 2,400-hour degree and a minimum of two years of approved relevant experience, members of the Federal Association of Higher Professionals for Technology, Economy and Design. MU or quote quote Mahendis in Turkey. The title is used by persons holding a degree from four years of study in accredited engineering universities. Diplomatuchos Mechanikos. Diploma owner in engineering or Dipl. Mech. In Greece is the title that is used by persons holding a five years of study degree from a public engineering university. This separates them from simple engineers having four years of studies in Greek TEI technical educational institutes. Topic. Latin America. Ing, in most Spanish-speaking countries, pre-nominal letters similar to doctor or professor Argentina, Bolivia, Colombia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Honduras, Mexico, Peru, Uruguay, Venezuela. In Chile customary practice consists in placing the post-nominal term Ingeniero Civil plus the specialty area, such as Ingeniero Civil Electrico, Ingeniero Civil en Minería or Ingeniero Civil Quimico. Eng, ingeniero, customary practice in post-nominal terms such as, ingeniero civil, ingeniero mecanico, ingeniero electricista, ingeniero florestal, ingeniero agronomo, ingeniero de segaranca do trabalho in Brazil. Registration by CONFEA, CRE in the Federation States of Paró, Maranhão, Tocantins, São Paulo and others but to work in more than one state is possible only with, Visto. R. Eng. Registered engineer in Trinidad and Tobago, as accredited by the Board of Engineering of Trinidad and Tobago. Topic: North America. P or PE is used in the United States. Individual states grant P registration, which can sometimes be endorsed by other states. P Eng is used in Canada, including the province of Quebec. This is granted to specified technical educational degree holders residing in Canada, upon application and approval. Eng, French, ING, is used in Quebec. Professional engineers in Quebec may use either Eng, P Eng, or ING, which are all equivalent. Topic. Title usage In many countries, laws exist that limit the use of job titles containing the word engineer. Topic: Canada. 
In Canada it is illegal to practice engineering or use the title professional engineer or engineer without a license. There are two exceptions. Stationary engineer and power engineer. Engineering in Canada is regulated in the public interest by self-governing professional licensing bodies. These bodies were established by Canada's 13 provincial and territorial governments through legislation. The provincial and territorial governments have delegated their constitutional authority to regulate engineers and engineering in Canada to professional licensing bodies that are maintained and governed by the profession, creating a system of self-regulation. The first law related to professional engineering in Ontario was created in 1922 and allowed for the creation of a voluntary association to oversee registration of engineers. The Act of 1922 was open, meaning that membership in the association was not mandatory for practicing engineers. In Ontario, regulation of engineering practice dates to 1937, when the Professional Engineers Act was amended and the engineering profession was closed to non-qualified individuals, that is, licensure was made mandatory for anyone practicing professional engineering. The provincial government determined that it would be in the public interest to restrict the practice of engineering to those who were qualified and the right to practice was closed to non-engineers as a result of the failures of bridges and buildings, which had been designed by unskilled individuals. Canadian provinces legally allow engineers to self-regulate their profession. The licensing bodies fulfill this mandate by ensuring standards of engineering practice and education in Canada, by setting standards for admission into the profession, by disciplining engineers who fail to uphold the profession's practice and ethical standards and by preventing the misuse of the title professional engineer by individuals who are not licensed members of the profession. They also take appropriate action to prevent the illegal practice of engineering by unlicensed individuals. Each licensing body's mandate and obligation to undertake this role is laid out in the act that created it. Although each act is slightly different, most also define a scope of practice for engineers and specifically restrict the use of the title professional engineer to individuals who have been licensed by the engineering licensing body in the province or territory where the act applies. The use of the term engineer was an issue between professional bodies, the IT industry and the security industry, where companies or associations may issue certifications or titles with the word engineer as part of that title such as security engineer or Microsoft certified systems engineer. Microsoft has since changed the title to Microsoft certified IT professional. Several licensing bodies for professional engineering contend that only licensed professional engineers are legally allowed to use the title engineer. The IT industry, on the other hand, counters that these title holders never presented themselves as professional engineers. Provincial laws, other than in Quebec and Ontario, regulate only the use of term professional engineer and not any title with the word engineer. In Quebec and Ontario, the term engineer is protected by both the Engineers Act and by Section 32 of the Professional Code. The IT industry has used the term engineer since the dawn of the computing industry in the 60s. Court rulings regarding the usage of the term engineer have been mixed. For example, after complaints were lodged by the Canadian Council of Professional Engineers, a court in Quebec fined Microsoft Canada $1,000 for misusing the engineer title by referring to MCSE graduates as engineers. Conversely, an Alberta court dismissed the lawsuit filed by the Association of Professional Engineers, Geologists and Geophysicists of Alberta APEGGA against Raymond Murhai for using the title system engineer claiming that the respondent's situation is such that it cannot be contended that the public is likely to be deceived, confused or jeopardized by his use of the term. APEGGA also lost the appeal to this decision. The Canadian Information Processing Society, and in particular CIPS Ontario, have attempted to strike a balance between the professional engineering licensing bodies and the IT industry over the use of the term engineer in the software industry, but so far no major agreements or decisions have been announced. Additional confusion has taken place over similarly named occupations. One such example is power engineers or stationary engineers. Graduates of a two-year college-level power engineering technology program in Nova Scotia may use the title power engineer or stationary engineer. 
This conflicts with the title often used in the electrical industry for professional engineers who design related equipment and can cause confusion. Topic: <laughs> United States. In the United States, the practice of professional engineering is highly regulated and the title professional engineer is legally protected, meaning that it is unlawful to use it to offer engineering services to the public unless permission, certification or other official endorsement is specifically granted by that state through a professional engineering license. Also, many states prohibit unlicensed persons from calling themselves an engineer or indicating branches or specialties not covered by the licensing acts. Employees of state or federal agencies may also call themselves engineers if that term appears in their official job title. The IEEE's formal position on this is as follows. The title, engineer and its derivatives should be reserved for those individuals whose education and experience qualify them to practice in a manner that protects public safety. Strict use of the title serves the interest of both the IEEE USA and the public by providing a recognized designation by which those qualified to practice engineering may be identified. Every state regulates the practice of engineering to ensure public safety by granting only professional engineers pays the authority to sign and seal engineering plans and offer their services to the public. There are additional requirements to include at least one professional engineer within the firm for these type of companies to include the word engineering in the title of the business, although these requirements are not universal. In the United States an industrial exemption allows businesses to employ employees and call them an engineer. As long as such individuals are under the direct supervision and control of the business entity and function internally related to manufacturing manufactured parts related to the business entity or work internally within an exempt organization. Such person does not have the final authority to approve or the ultimate responsibility for engineering designs, plans or specifications that are to be a incorporated into fixed works, systems or facilities on the property of others or b made available to the public. These individuals are prohibited from representing an ability or willingness to perform engineering services or make an engineering judgment requiring a licensed professional engineer, engage in practice of engineering, offer engineering services directly to the public and or other businesses, unless the business entity is registered with the state's board of engineering and the practice is carried on, supervised directly only by engineers licensed to engage in the practice of engineering. Examples are sanitation engineer, production engineer, test engineer, network engineer, project engineer, systems engineer and sales engineer. These are often seen in engineering job advertisements online and in newspapers. Most of the advertisements and employers don't require licensing because these positions do not pose a direct threat to public health or pose a liability danger. The U.S. model has generally been only to require the practicing engineers offering engineering services that impact the public welfare, safety or safeguarding of life, health or property to be licensed, while engineers working in private industry without a direct offering of engineering services to the public or other businesses, education and government need not be licensed. In the United States, use of the title professional engineer is restricted to those holding a professional engineer's license. These people have the right to add the letters P after their names on resumes, business cards and other communication. However, each state has its own licensing procedure and the license is valid only in the state that granted it. Therefore, many professional engineers maintain licenses in more than one state. Comity, also known as reciprocity, between states allows engineers who are licensed or registered in one state to obtain a license in another state without meeting the ordinary rigorous proof of qualification by testing. This is accomplished by the second state recognizing the validity of the first state's licensing or registration process. Other uses of the term engineer are legally controlled and protected to varying degrees, dependent on the state and the enforcement of its engineering certification board. The term is frequently applied to fields where practitioners may have no engineering background or the work has no basis in the physical engineering disciplines, for example sanitation engineer, with regard to the term software engineer, 
Many states, such as Texas and Florida, have introduced license requirements for such a title that are in line with the requirements for more traditional engineering fields. United Kingdom There is no restriction on anyone describing themselves as an engineer or working as an engineer in the UK. The word engineer has a broad sense and can refer to multiple different jobs associated with engineering. Specific titles, however, are protected. In addition to professional engineering titles, these include Registered Gas Engineer and Chief Engineer Class 1 or 2 Fishing Vessel. The Engineering Council grants the titles Chartered Engineer, Incorporated Engineer, Engineering Technician and Information and Communications Technology Technician under its Royal Charter. These titles are protected under civil law. The Engineering Council is also the UK member of the International Professional Engineers Agreement and awards the title of International Professional Engineer UK. Various engineering institutions grant their own professional titles in addition to those granted by the Engineering Council. These include Chartered Chemical Engineer Institution of Chemical Engineers, Chartered Civil Engineer Institution of Civil Engineers, Chartered Energy Engineer and Chartered Petroleum Engineer Energy Institute, Chartered Gas Engineer Institution of Gas Engineers and Managers, Chartered Marine Engineer Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology, Chartered Structural Engineer and Member of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Institution of Structural Engineers, and Member of the Institution of Engineering and Technology Institution of Engineering and Technology. Topic: Europe and Latin America. Regulation and titling of engineers in Europe are handled differently by various countries. In Germany and some other European and Latin American countries, the term diploma engineer implies that the person has completed typically one year of academic work beyond the basic Bachelor of Engineering degree and completed a major academic project, similar to a master's thesis. Therefore, a diploma engineer is a university degree and not a professional registration or license. However, in Germany and most other countries where the diploma engineer degree exists, there is no professional registration or license in engineering, with a very limited number of exceptions, such as civil engineering in Germany. For this reason, graduates holding these degrees are generally allowed to use the legally protected title of engineer. Within these countries, in Germany the usage of the term engineer ingenieur, as such, not just the diplom ingenieur, is protected by various Lander states of Germany laws, because education matters are governed by the legislation of the Lander, not the federal government. Although the details of the laws vary, they all properly restrict the usage of the term. Examples of such laws are listed in the endnotes. In France, the title engineer is used liberally and is often attributed based on professional position rather than initial qualification. However, the title ingénieur diplômé, diploma engineer, is reserved for people having followed one of the trainings listed by the Commission des Titres de Ingénieur, Commission for Engineer Titles. It corresponds to a highly selective master's degree level. In Turkey title is limited by law for the people with an engineering degree from accredited engineering universities. Usage of the title by others, even those with much more work experience, is illegal and punishable by law. In Chile, the Ingeniero engineer, title is regulated by law, which distinguishes at least three different kinds of professional engineering titles. First, the Ingenieria de Recursion, which only requires a degree in applied science and a technical degree from a university or a technical institute, usually four years total. Second, Ingenieria, which requires a major degree in basic sciences plus a technical degree, both from a university, usually five years total. Third, Ingenieria Civil, which requires an academic major degree in basic sciences, a minor degree in applied sciences and a technical degree, all from a university, usually six or six and a half years total. In all cases, the term refers to a professional degree conceded by an educational institution, yet it can only be given by certain institutions when all legal requirements are met. In Brazil, the title of Ingeniero, Engineer, and in Argentina, the title of Ingeniero can only be legally used by someone with a five or six year engineering degree. 
In Argentina most universities have a five- or six-year engineering degree around 3,500 to 4,000 hours of classes or approximately 240 to 250 credits, where one credit equals 16 contact hours. Both countries concede the degree most commonly through universities and sometimes through certain institutions. In Puerto Rico, use of the title Ingeniero engineer, is restricted to those holding an engineer's license registered by the Puerto Rico Professional College of Engineers and Land Surveyors. These people have the right to add the letters ING before the names on resumes, business cards and other communication. Topic. International professional bodies The AACE, a professional body for cost engineers, explains why a technical engineering background is not required for their profession with the following statement. Topic. See also American Society of Civil Engineers Civil Engineering Body of Knowledge FIDIC Hong Kong Institution of Engineers Institution of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers Institution of Engineers Disambiguation Institution of Mechanical Engineers Engineering New Zealand Engineers Australia Society of Operations Engineers Washington Accord <laughs>